and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through how to install SSE Edit. So in this video I'm going to assume two things. One, you have Mod Organizer 2 installed. If you haven't done that, you're going to want to hit the pause button. You're going to want to go to the video uh, on how to download Mod Organizer 2. I've linked in the description. Do that, come back. The second thing I'm going to assume is that you have a Nexus Mods account. If you do not have a Nexus Mods account, you're going to want to go to nexusmods.com and you're going to want to create an account. Once you've done that, you can come back and pick up right where you left off. That being said, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Skyrim Special Edition in nexusmods.com. And then you're just going to want to type in SSE Edit. And you're going to want to click on this one right here. Once you're here, you're going to want to go to Files. You're going to want to go to Manual Download. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to go to Show in Folder. And I've created a Skyrim Modding Tools folder onto my desktop, just because I like to keep things nice and neat. You don't have to do that, uh, but it is helpful. I'm going to drag it into the Modding Tools. You can close out the Downloads file. Open your Skyrim Modding Tools folder. This is where you're going to need an archive extractor like 7-Zip or WinRAW. If you do not have any of those things, I will leave a link to 7-Zip in the description. You can go ahead and install that. You're going to want to right click on the archive, the 7-Zip, and to extract here. Now you're going to have all of these files. Now you're going to want to close out of the folder. You're going to want to open Mod Organizer 2. No. And then to add SSE edit, you can see I've already added it here, but you're going to want to go to edit. You're going to want to go to add. Add from file. And you're going to want to navigate to your desktop. Skyrim modding tools. And then you're going to want to double click on quick auto clean. Hit open. And then you're going to want to click on SSE Edit and then Open. Once you've done that, you're going to have these two things pop up. You're going to want to hit Apply. And then you're going to click OK. And then when you have this drop down, you will have SSE Edit Quick Auto Clean and SSE Edit on your drop down bar. The reason why this is important is because in our next video, we're going to clean the masters. And this is really important because it will help stabilize your game. It will get rid of unneeded references in the game and things like that. Uh, so make sure that you watch that video to clean your masters. If this video has been helpful for you, make sure you click that like button. If you want to see more tutorials like this one and like clean cleaning your Skyrim master files, uh, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification button. If you want to catch live streams or other edited videos, uh, we also do that too. If you have any questions regarding your load order or require or uh, in regards to getting your game set up, we have a Discord and that link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.